Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's fur video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the 10, 14 days for today's fur video. Day 10 will take us to the 17th of March. We'll be able to extend out beyond that. We extend to CFS and ESEP ensembles. Maybe I'll try in a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at the CFS V2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. And that will get us uh, into the beginning of April, actually. I should get over that for you in a moment, just see that first. Video release out as our 6 of UK weather forecast, and we've also released the detailed European outlook as well. Check out those two videos if you'd like to do that. Like, share, subscribe on all of the videos and content, and thanks so much, everybody, for doing that. I'm rushing to come out with stuff, and got a busy, busy afternoon ahead. I find myself having to look for a new car. Goodness gracious me, that's an expense I didn't think I'd be having at the start of the year. Uh, but anyway, so I've got to get through a day 10 to 14 days as quickly as I can because I've got a busy afternoon ahead. We're going to start off central in temperature. The seating is now sitting at 4.8, which is 0.8 of a degree below the 61 to 90 degree average. That is provisional to the uh, 5th of March, so uh, still uh, below average, but gradually starting to uh, come back up. These are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. We're looking at Edinburgh today. The red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for Edinburgh. We're starting off below average at the boat, a little bit on the cool side. We do see the upper air temperatures starting to recover a bit though as we move into the middle part of March, and uh, that takes us through into the second half of the month as well. Precipitation wise, it'll be a lot of dry weather for the next two or three days, but turning more unsettled over the weekend and particularly into next week, looks like there's further heavy rain to come for the middle portion of the month. Temperature anomalies from the 7th to 15th of March coming out a little bit above average for England and Wales, near a normal for Scotland and Ireland. Uh, precipitation anomalies from the 7th to 15th of March driving average in the southeast corner, but still a little bit on the west of an average side. Further north and west, actually. But next, we have a map from Earth, no school dot net shows that we're bringing an easterly flow there. Most easy winds will be staying with us into the weekend, courtesy of an area of high pressure over Scandinavia. It's not a particularly cold easterly, but it's not a cold source easterly. So, uh, if it happened in January when it was freezing cold across much of northern Europe, then it would have been cold, but it didn't. It's happening in March, and so there's not much cold air tapping to at the moment to our east right let's start going for chart data then starting off with the uh, uk met euro run for midnight on sunday low pressure over france and the low countries high pressure blocking to the north winds coming in from the east looking cool and unsettled with these easy winds through into the uh, beginning of next week and then high pressure starts to uh, build over and to the east of the country into the second half of next week, bringing that's the tail to spring through the middle part of the week. That's a set up midnight next Thursday, a week away, a bridge to our north and over the country, drawing up winds from more a southerly direction. That was quite pleasant. I think that could get the temperature in towards the uh, mid teens Celsius, a taste of spring there. I can't again with low pressure to the south, high pressure to the north. For Sunday, bringing most easterly winds into next week, looking a little bit more unsettled and cooler with Icon compared to the UK Met as these little areas of low pressure start pushing through. So, plenty of showers, longer spells of rain, and winds generally staying in from the north as well uh, with Icon right way up to midday next Thursday. Cooler and more unsettled with Icon compared to the, uh, to the UK Met. GFS Midnight Run right? again with low pressure around. Uh, uh, Biscay, high pressure, Ralph Scandavia winds in from the east on Sunday. Proper easterly winds, cool and unsettled into the beginning section of next week. But then turning a little bit mild, although still unsettled actually with this area of low pressure being wet and windy weather around the middle part of uh, next week. After that, though, high pressure starts to build nicely from the south. So by day 9, 10, we've got high pressure building up from the south. That would bring a taste of spring, mostly dry and potentially quite uh, mild or warm with that as well. And into the extended range, high pressure again continues to uh, be dominating the scene as we're uh, pushing on through into the second half of that. We've got an area of high pressure to our north and east. Winds generally coming in from an easterly uh, direction. Starting to turn a little bit colder, though, potentially 
by the very end of GFS midnight run, Thai pressure begins to relocate to Iceland and Greenland, start to bring the wind in perhaps more from a northeasterly direction. That's a long way off though, that's over two weeks away. And then beside GFS 6 is looking again, we've got low pressure to our south, high pressure to on Sunday, bringing those east winds cool and unsettled through the weekend to start next week, especially so down in the south. More low pressure piling in from the Atlantic around the middle part of next week, looking properly wet and windy with that area of low pressure. We generally mild but looks very unsettled i have to say and then heading up towards uh day 10 we try and get a bit of a ridge building to our north and east but nothing much coming of that low pressure just keeps piling in from off the atlantic coming up against this blocking area of high pressure to our north and northeast and then that's the setup as we get to the end of gfs 6 z uh high pressure then bridging down from the north so uh, beginning to perhaps hint at something a bit colder again as we get through towards the 23rd of march could this be the uh response to the stratospheric warming event that we've been talking about over the past few weeks could be, this be the first hint of their tropospheric response via blocking to um the ssw it's a very very long way off it's over two weeks away so might just be him at the the moment. If you enjoyed the video, please do like, share, and subscribe. I know it's a little bit truncated compared to uh, normal due to my uh, busy afternoon I've got coming up. But if you are enjoying the video, please do like, share, and subscribe. Thanks so much for doing that. Okay, GM with low pressure again around Biscay, high pressure to the north, and winds coming in from an easterly direction, so cool and unsettled through the uh, weekend into the start of next week. Further low pressure coming in off the Atlantic, bring more wet weather in with it. And then eventually we finish up with a ridge building over and to the east of the country, so I'd try and block off these areas of low pressure out to west. So that brings up a milder southerly flow. So the middle part of March should see an increase in the temperature, I think, but how long that lasts will remain to be seen. And then the east Sherman looks like that again. We've got low pressure south, high pressure north on Sunday, winds in from the east, plenty of wet weather in from the east. And as we head on through the course of next week, well, eventually we start to bring up some milder air from the south as high pressure is away to our east low pressure is out to the west we draw up a southerly wind but still looks quite unsettled i think with the east um, with low pressure bringing further bouts of rain in from off the Atlantic. it's just that we go from cool rain or cold rain over the weekend to the beginning of next week to uh milder rain later next week this is precipitation forecast based on that uh, ECM run from Tometio.com. Uh, again, looking rather showery over the weekend, especially so for England and Wales. Could be quite a cold and wet weekend, miserable weekend, I have to say. Uh, into next week, we start five bands of rain coming in off the Atlantic then. So that's a change in wind direction. We lose the easterly pick of a southerly southwesterly will increase the temperature and as I say, it's just that we go from cold rain to warm, ra warm rain, uh, really. These are the options on the table within the ECM Ensemble today for day 10. Well, this is the option on the table, given it's only one of them. Um, for day 10, 17th of March from the Icelandic Met Office, 51 out of 51 members of the ECM Ensembles with high pressure to the north and lower pressure is coming in from off the Atlantic. Begin to shift the wind around to more of a southerly or southwesterly direction. How many two weeks time means the options that we got will get us to the 22nd of March. 19 members of the ECM ensembles with high pressure around Green Iceland, low pressure around Scandinavia, and that brings the wind in from a colder northerly direction. 18 with high pressure away to the northwest, mostly dry, but could be a little bit chilly uh, with that. And then 14 with high pressure away to the northwest again, no pressure over France, and that could bring the wind in from a northeast direction. So if we do pick the temperature up around the middle part of March, I think we probably will do uh, and get a taste of spring we may find ourselves going back into cooler or possibly even colder conditions by around two weeks out and i say that might be the first hint there of a tropospheric response to the strap warming Chef SB2, finally, these are 500 millibar high tonight. Break down to week periods. The first week period takes from the 7th to 13th of March. Being next week, we'll have high pressure to the north, low pressure south, and winds will be coming in from an easterly direction. So, most uncertain in the south and driest up in the north. Week 2 will be the 14th to the 20th of March. High pressure and over to the east of the country. That should bring a taste of spring with more of a southerly uh, type flow. So, that should be milder. But week three goes colder. It's the 21st, 27th of March. High pressure then out to, oops, I can read that. High pressure then is out towards Greenland and Iceland with low pressure 
across the north of York, a wind in from the north or northeasterly direction. Could be cold and wintry, uh, well, cold and maybe slightly wintry over high ground in the north. Um, uh, then week four is the 28th of March to the 3rd of April, high pressure again blocking around Green and Iceland, probably bringing in the wind from an easterly direction. Could be a colder sort of latter stage to March in here. Um, as we're expecting with the SSW vote, of course. But we should, it's all a long way out, and before then, I think we probably will get a push-up in the temperature, actually, around the middle part of the month, uh, around days 8, 9, 10. I reckon we're going to get some uh, a little taste of spring, maybe, then. But it could still be quite unsettled. Anyway, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please do like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you share everybody for doing that. Drop a comment and share what you think about this and all of our bits of content. And don't forget to tell friends about Gals Worthy. Thank you so much, so, so, everyone, for doing that. We need to put on around 60 subscribers, I think, to get ourselves to 18.1k. So if you could give us a sub, it'll be amazing and it'll be incredible. Thank you so much. Right, uh, just so what's happening on the channel tomorrow. Going to have a 16 UK weather forecast. Jeremy Friday, 10 to 14 there. I will be live with the pub run at 10.30 as well. Well, so uh, I shall see you tomorrow. This afternoon, I'm off to start the hunt for a new car. Goodness gracious. You enjoy whatever uh, you've got planned for this uh, Thursday afternoon, evening, though. And uh, I shall see you again with more very, very soon. But for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching. Well, thanks for watching.